most electric vehicles for sale in the United States today can charge on the Tesla Supercharger Network, which is great. They're everywhere, they're super reliable, but there is a catch. You probably need an adapter. Now, there are a ton of different adapters for sale on the market today, but there's only, you know, very few that I think that you really want to buy. So let's take a look at one of those. In this video, we're going to look at the Electron Vortex plug. So this is the supercharger to CCS adapter. And you can see here it's rated for 500 amps and 1,000 volts, which is great. Gives you access to over 15,000 supercharger points. So this power rating, 500 amps and 1,000 volts, means that you won't be limited by the adapter. There are some lower amperage adapters out there on the market, uh, but this is, this is what you want. At least 500 amps and 1,000 volts. That's like, kind of like the standard, basically. All right, so let's uh, open this thing up and see what you get when you order a Vortex plug from Electron. All right, so here we have the Vortex plug box, CCS or supercharger to CCS adapter. Uh, right, rugged and durable, advanced safety features. Right, let's see what's inside the box. I have not opened this up yet, so this is a, a surprise for me, as well as you. Oh, on the back of the box, it also has some more ratings. The current rating is 500 amps, 1,000 volts, which we talked about, IP65 weatherproof rating, and this is your operating temperatures down to minus 22 Fahrenheit, and charging port CCS1 in that port is next. The weight, weight is 2.1 pounds. Right, and, and the materials. All right, let's see what's inside this mystery block. Oh, comes with an extended warranty. That's good to know. And a little user manual, which is, uh, I guess you just scan the code and then you can find you get access to the manual online. All right, so basically that's all there is. There's that, and then there's this. So, it's a branded Electron. All right, so this is the side that plugs into your electric vehicle that is not Tesla. It's, this is called, it'll fit into what's called the CCS1 socket. And the other side is, of course, where you plug in the Tesla uh, cord from these Tesla superchargers. It plugs right into there, no problem. All right, so let's see how it works in real life. To help me with this today, my friend Isaiah is here. And he's got hello. this. What's that? I said hello. <laughs> what was it? <laughs> hello, right? And uh, yeah, he's got this awesome uh, Rivian truck that he's offered to let me use for this uh, demonstration. So let's take a look at that. Right. Rivian R1T. That's the pickup truck. And as you can see, we're pulled up to the Tesla supercharger. And uh, if you don't know, the Tesla, the uh, Rivian charging port is right there. Boom. All right. So. Let's see if this will work. We have the uh, supercharger. We have the port, which as you can see, does not work with what we have going on here, which is this. So, right. These things do not splice. They do not work together. Okay, so we're going to uh, do a charge session here. So first to do this, you need to activate the session on the, we can use the Tesla app to do that with, even though it's a Rivian. All right, so you open the app and set it up to charge. All right, your vehicle's already registered inside. You're already hooked up to the, you already have your credit cards registered with the app. So basically all we need to do is start charging. He has a little point he just made that we we'll want to share with you. Yeah, so this adapter supports plug and charge. So you don't have to set up it within the app. However, if you have the Tesla supercharging membership for non-Tesla vehicles, it is cheaper to charge a Tesla supercharger station. So for here, it is it is currently 37 cents a kilowatt hour. If I didn't have the membership, it'd be 48. So Ooh, quite quite yeah, that's a, nice, that's a nice difference, yeah. So we'll press charge here. We want to make sure it's the right spell, so this is 1B. Okay, yeah, we're at 1B down there. 1B, start charging. You know, take the okay, adapter. so we're good to go. All right, we'll open that door back up again. And uh, so we take this adapter, you take your Tesla cord, get your Tesla cord, get your Tesla adapter side, 
and that plugs in. So this has a little switch on the very bottom of the adapter. You need to pull that in and then you click it together so it's locked into place. And then you can just insert. And I believe that's in, so we can check inside to see if it's charging. All right. We'll just jump in the cab. Ah, the Rivian's nice. All right, so it is charging. And we're already at uh, 53%. So it's still charging 262 miles an hour. All right, so let's look at it on the big screen, actually. So this is the charging screen. And we are at 100. 84 kilowatts. It was a little over 200 a moment ago. Uh, that's great. It's got uh, the end time when, when things will be finished charging up to. The, I'm not sure what the limit is. Oh, it's up to max. The charge limit is max. So, right. So it is three o'clock. It's going to take a long time to charge to 100% like most vehicles. Usually we only charge to 80% or enough to get to the next supercharger to keep the uh, stop times low. But yeah, everything's working just fine as expected. That's great. All right, so now it's time to unplug. So grab the uh, Tesla cable. There's a little button area here on the Tesla cable. You can push that. It ends the charging and the whole thing comes disconnected. Then you can just push on this little lever again and it releases the adapter and we're all set. This just, this sits back up in there. That closes. And uh, yeah, and now we're ready to go. It's just uh, stick this in your, your vehicle and you're ready for the next stop. So to sum up, the Electron NAX to CCS adapter, the Vortex plug, 500 amps, 1,000 volts, is a great piece of equipment. It works fine. Uh, it's got the safety latches on it. Uh, it's one of very few on the market. Like you can go to Amazon and find cheap ones all day long but uh, you won't find any better really. So this is kind of what the one you want to go for. Um, so you can buy it on Amazon. I believe it's uh, $1.99 there. Or you could go to the Electron website where it is right now currently uh, being priced at $184.99. And I believe there's a 5% discount you can get on top of that when you're on their site for a little bit. It should, it should be a little pop-up, uh, yeah, which is a great deal. Uh, yeah, so uh, that's it for me this time. Uh, tune in again, and we'll see you in the next one. Ciao.